Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just passed the aesthetic state board exam yesterday. So now I feel like I can give you guys skincare advice and it's like actually coming from a place of knowledge and I actually know what I'm talking about because I just passed my test. So to start off my skincare series, I'm gonna do the three basic steps of skincare. So the three minimal things that you can do for your skin every day is cleanse it, tone it, and moisturize it. So to do that, you need a cleanser, toner, and a moisturizer. Cleansers, what do they do? They remove dirt, oil, and makeup. And there are different types of cleansers for the different skin types. So for oily skin, a gel or a foaming cleanser is ideal because it dissolves more oil. For dry and mature skin, a cleansing lotion is a good option because it contains more oils. Or a cleansing cream is also a good option because it removes dirt but also adds in moisture because it's a water and oil emotion. When applying a cleanser, you want to do so to a wet face and start from the neck in an upward and outward motion. However, for men, you want to do this in a downward motion the opposite way so that you don't irritate your hair follicles around your beard area. Use whatever cleanser works for you Test out a few different ones, see which one your skin likes. I would suggest to get a gel and a cream cleanser because your skin can get oily and it can get dry. You don't stay one type forever. But bar soap is not ideal because it tends to leave a film on the face and it's more alkaline. What is alkaline, you ask? Well, that brings me to my next point, balancing. Everything needs balance, including your skin. Alkaline goes back to the pH scale. The pH scale determines how acidic or how alkaline a substance is. The numbers range from 1 to 14, 1 being the most acidic and 14 being the most alkaline. Now your skin's optimal pH to keep the acid mantle in balance, pause, what is the acid mantle? So the optimal pH to keep your acid mantle in balance is 5.5. So your skin should be around a 5.5 pH level. So it's slightly acidic, but that's where your skin is balanced at. When your pH balance is off, the health of your skin is off, so you see things like breakouts or drier skin. And anything that you do to your face, whether it's cleansing, exfoliating, doing a mask, it throws the pH balance off because that product that you're using has its own pH, and your skin's pH is probably already not at the 5.5 that it should be at. So no matter what you do to your face, you're going to throw the pH balance off. So how do we combat that? How do we get the pH to be balanced where it should be, even though we have to do things like cleanse and exfoliate? Well, that's where your best buddy, toner, comes in. Toner! It's like the holy grail of skincare. You need it, you gotta have it. That's why it's part of the three. The main purpose of toner is to finish the cleansing process, get off all the remaining dirt or product, and to balance the pH of your skin. So it takes your skin's pH at where it's at and tries to balance it back at that 5.5. So anytime you do anything to your face, you have to apply toner. When applying toner, you can use a cotton ball or a cotton round and dab it into the skin. Or if you have a spray toner like me, you can just mist it on your face and dab it in with your fingers. If you have more sensitive skin, something like a refresher might be better for you rather than a full strength toner because it won't have as harsh of an astringent for you. The one thing you should not use as a toner or just on your face in general is rubbing alcohol. This. You don't, no, 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 you don't. I know so many people who say that they try to get rid of their acne with rubbing alcohol. It's the worst possible thing that you could do because it might feel like it's cleaning your face and it's getting rid of all the germs, but it's actually doing the opposite because it's stripping your face of the natural and needed oils, and it's breaking down that bacteria barrier that you need to keep your skin healthy. So really you're just doing the opposite of trying to remove the germs, you're just letting more come in with rubbing alcohol. So don't use it. Rubbing alcohol is not a toner and it belongs nowhere near your face, ever. So lastly, moisturizer. The main thing that you need to remember about moisturizer is it has to have SPF in it. An SPF of at least 15 or higher because you need sun protection. You know why? Because 90% of aging comes from sun damage. It doesn't matter what color you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, you need sun protection. And I'm tired of hearing black people say that they don't need sunscreen. Everybody needs sunscreen. Everybody is susceptible to sun damage and skin cancer. Like, come on. Put some sunscreen in your lotion, like put it on your face. 
you need it. Now the sunscreen works by reflecting the UVA or UVB rays, which is what we get from the sun and causes sun damage. The other thing that a moisturizer does other than protect from the sun, it also locks in all of that moisture and, and water that you just put on your face. It's like a setting spray. So there are a few different types of moisturizers that you can get depending on your skin type. So if you have dry skin, an oil-based moisturizer is ideal because it contains emollients and it's heavier, it's thicker. For oily skin, a water-based moisturizer is ideal because it doesn't contain extra oils, but it's still hydrating. Oily skin still needs hydration because if it doesn't have hydration, then it's gonna overcompensate by producing more oil or becoming dehydrated. So you might think that your oily skin doesn't need more oil, but actually it does. When applying moisturizer, massage it into the skin in an upward motion and make sure it's really settled into your skin before you go out into the sun. Okay, so that was it. Just three steps. Cleanse, tone, moisturize. That's the basics. If you do nothing else for your skin, at least cleanse, tone, and moisturize. That's it. It'll take you five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night, if that. And it, you can do the first two steps in the shower. Like, it's not, it's no big thing. Skincare doesn't have to be difficult or time consuming or frustrating. All you need are three things. Cleanser, toner, moisturizer. Try that out if you aren't doing it already and see a difference in your skin, I promise. So hopefully I will have another skincare tutorial back here at some point, sometime soon. We'll see. In the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram because I'm more active there. At Little Rosie's Turn, follow me and until next time, peace.